The ingredients that we're going to need for these beef patties are very simple. All I have here for the spices is some ground ginger, some Mrs. Dash, or you can use any type of all-purpose seasoning of your choice. I have some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, as well as some paprika. We also have some fresh culantro, also known as bandana. We have some regular cilantro. You can go ahead and swap this out for parsley if you like, and you can swap these herbs out for any of your choice as well. We also have an onion here we're going to chop up, a few cloves of garlic, some hot peppers that you can add in as per your taste. And these mixed vegetables that we have here, they are optional. Auntie Chandra likes to add in mixed vegetables because that's just her preference. And I like the mixed vegetables in the patties as well. And of course, since we're making beef patties, we're going to need our ground beef. And we have our store-bought pie crust. Now, if you want to, you can follow the recipe that I have on my channel for the all-purpose pastry crust that I posted. I'll have it linked right up here. But if you are in a time crunch and you need something really quick to make, these store-bought pie crusts are perfect for that. So whichever way you choose to make it, it'll come out great, guys. So let's start cooking. The first step when making your patties is to go ahead and chop and prepare all of your seasonings and your vegetables. So Auntie Chandra is chopping the cilantro, the culantro, our hot pepper, as well as the garlic. You want to chop them pretty fine so this way you don't have big chunks of these ingredients in your beef patties. Once you finish chopping all of your vegetables and your seasonings, it's time to start the cooking process. So we have a little bit of oil heating up in the bottom of our pan here, and we're going in with all of our onions. We're going to stir these around for about a minute or two, or just until the onions get a little bit of a golden brown color around the edges. And once you see those onions start to get a little bit of a golden brown color on the edges, it's time to go in with all of our ground beef. So you want to add the beef in and then once you add it in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to break it up with your spoon and you're going to allow it to fry really well for about 5 to 6 minutes or until the beef gets nice and brown. Once your meat has been browning for the past 5 or 6 minutes, it's time to go in with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Now we didn't mention this in the beginning, but you want to add the Worcestershire sauce to give it a nice flavor. And as usual, all of the ingredients and the measurements will be down in the description box down below. At this point, we're adding in all of our dry spices. That's the paprika, the cayenne pepper, the ginger powder, the Mrs. Dash, as well as the black pepper. We're going to give that a stir and we're going to allow this to fry up for about a minute or two, or just until those spices get to bloom and they become fragrant. Once you mix in all of the spices, it's time to go in with your cilantro and your culantro. As well as all of the garlic. And you're just going to stir that up and allow it to fry up for a little bit. Once all of your ingredients have had a chance to marry together, you want to go in with your mixed vegetables. And from this point forward, you're just going to go ahead and cook it for about five to six minutes more or until all of these ingredients marry together and then it'll be done. At this point, the filling for our beef patties is all done. It's cooked up really nicely. We gave it a taste for salt and it was perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this mixture from the pan. We're going to put it in a little bowl or a plate and we're going to allow it to cool completely before we start to fill our pies or our little beef patties. Once you've rolled your dough out, you're going to cut your circles, place them into your pan. And Auntie Chandra got this little empanada maker or pie maker, so that's what we're going to use to make our Guyanese style chicken patties. But if you wanted to, the way I made my chicken patties in my video where I did it on the regular cookie tray, you can go ahead and do that as well. But we're going to try out this new machine and see how it works out. And if you were baking this in a regular oven, you'd allow them to bake for about 15 to 16 minutes or until they're golden brown on top. This machine worked out pretty well because as you guys can see, they're nice and they're golden brown and they lift out very easily. And I like the way that they crimp the edges and perfectly cook that pie crust. Auntie Chandra's just lifting one out so you guys can see. And look at that, guys. Looks absolutely perfect. So 
So I have my Auntie Chitra, my mom, and Auntie Kanita trying the beef patties. And they're going to tell you guys what they think about it. All right, so I have my auntie Kanita and my mom trying the beef. Okay, come, go then. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. I have my. All right, I have my mom, my auntie Chandra, auntie Chitra, auntie Kanita, and Daniel, my cousin. Trying out these beef patties. So, guys, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Very good. Ha, 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 ha. The crust is nice yummy. and flaky. The filling, perfect. That thing's great. Flaky and nice. Auntie okay. Chicha, what do you have to say about it? Delicious! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> All right, so I have Auntie Chitra and Auntie D. They're gonna taste these beef patties for you guys as well. Cheers. How are they? Mmm, <laughs> you gotta redo that. Put the beer bottle down. Mm. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Not many takes with her. All right, ready? <laughs> All right, so Auntie Chitra and Auntie D are gonna go ahead and taste these beef patties for you guys as well. Mm -hmm. How is it, Auntie D? It's delicious. Auntie Chitra? <laughs> I didn't even look at you! Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today for beef patties. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Make sure to give it a nice big thumbs up and go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you guys would like me to make you next. Bye guys! Cheers! <laughs>